here was this extraordinarily surreal place to be in all its elements. This was a, a, a sidewalk in, in, in its uh, uh, tragic way. Um, but it, 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 was, it was a great aberration for me uh, because it was not an ordinary subject. It was not ordinary. It, w it was so overwhelmingly dramatic and pungent with not only uh, smells but with, uh, uh, with uh, fire and uh, with cracking glass and with firemen. It was a holocaust of a certain kind. For me, 9-11 was a, a, a continuum of my endeavors on the street with one great twist. And that great twist was this extraordinary tragedy of the day. But all the same gears and, and literally all the same mechanics of my camera were the same. It's like, here's this to deal with with the camera. Here, take this. Take this. My interest that day, my interest that day was to put more film in that camera. It's like, put more film, put more film. I'm good at this. I'm really good at this. And I'm gonna put more film and more film. And I, I, and I, had, no, I had no agenda. I had no agenda. I wasn't working for anyone. I was shooting the street and, and the street was uh, blown up. I think I shot 17 rolls. And it's like I shot till seven o'clock and I walked home. Pretty quickly it became apparent that Jeff had something very special and that we wanted to break out his work and play a number of his images just on their own. So that his would be the kind of large visual uh, feature presenting the events of the day. Jeff's pictures had a kind of spiritual feeling to them. When I think about the picture with the firefighters and he's got the intensity of it, you see one firefighter looking up and he's like looking up to the heavens. It's an amazing picture because the whole picture, all of the detail of what was going on, it's in there. But the picture is about something else. I mean, it's Jeff just looking at this guy, looking up, and he's exhausted, and his eyes are red, and his eyes are red because I'm sure the smoke and the ash and just the physical burning and discomfort, but they also seem to be red because there's a sense of crying, you know, what's happened here? This picture is amazing also because it is absolutely stone silent. It's an unpeopled picture, and yet it's such a human picture. It's a great one, and it's definitely, I think, come to be one of the, the icons of the day. I was not aware uh, at all, really, I don't think, in my stream of consciousness, that I was documenting one of the most horrific days in, in, in history. I guess I was like a war photographer for a day. Where he found the courage, I don't know, because I think anybody who made that picture today definitely had to have a certain kind of courage. And where do they get that from? Commitment. And what's the commitment? Commitment is to telling the story so that they can record history, so that others can see it. I feel that 9-11 made people understand again the importance of documentary photojournalism. I do feel proud because I, I, I feel like I made some soulful pictures that day. Because I'm a photographer.